Hey there, it's Mr. Zonker. Alright, we're going to be getting into some angle vocabulary. So, if you think back, you've probably seen an angle before. It looks something like this. Uh, we might have a few points. Let's say we had A, B, and C. Uh, you may want to be writing these down. These are going to be really important uh, to reference as we're moving forward. Let's say we had an angle here of uh, why not? 45 degrees. Okay, so uh, in referencing this angle in general, I'm going to make this a little smaller. Uh, we talk about angle uh, and the three points that make it up. So we have A, B, C. We're going to draw that angle. This sign here means angle A, B, C. And uh, the order is somewhat important, at least uh, this point in the middle, because you always follow it. So A, B, C, if we were going to draw that, we'd start here. We'd say A, B, C. Uh, we could also say angle C, B, A, and that would be angle C, B, A, talking about the same angle. All right, notice that uh, this angle here has two sides. I'm going to give myself uh, some more space here. This angle has two sides. The sides are here and over here. Uh, we're going to refer to these sides. The sides are going to be the sides are just the segments that make up each side. So here we have BA, so our side is going to be a segment, BA, and what's the other side going to be? Well, it's going to be BC. So here are two sides, BA and BC. Okay, uh, what's really important here is uh, this point in the middle. Uh, how we refer to that point is the uh, vertex. So this point right here in the middle we call the vertex. So we have a vertex at point B and it's just a point so we don't need any special symbols. Okay, the last thing uh, we're going to use this illustration for is uh, angle measurement. When we talk about the measurement of an angle, we're going to give ourselves a little M, which stands for measurement of angle A, B, C. So we can just look up to our angle. We have angle A, B, C, and the measurement we know right here is 45, so we can say that that equals 45. When we talk about uh, angle measurement, there's a few terms we need to know. One is uh, complementary, and this basically means two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So if we look down here, we have angle ABC. The measurement of angle ABC is 45. We also have angle QRS, who also is a measure of angle, uh, a measurement of 45. Now, if we add 45 and 45 together, we're going to get 90. So if we wanted to talk about two complementary angles down there, we can say all right, well, uh, I know angle A, B, and C. And if we add that measurement uh, to angle Q, R, S, we're going to get 90. So those are two complementary angles. Another term we have is supplementary. Supplementary are two angles that add up to 180. So uh, let's look back over here. We have angle A, B, C is 45. We have angle X, Y, Z is 135. If we add those two together, we're going to get 180. So we can say uh, angle A, B, C, and angle X, Y, Z are supplementary because they add to 180. Some people have uh, a difficult time remembering the difference or which one is which between complementary and supplementary. A couple ways to help you remember. You might think complementary has the C, so you think of a corner, 
which is 90 degrees, and uh, supplementary is has an S for a straight line, and a straight line you know has uh, 180 degrees. Another way, C is earlier in the alphabet, so that's the smaller one, which is 90 degrees. S is later in the alphabet, so that's the bigger one, 180. All right, another one we have is opposite rays. Remember, a ray starts at a point and then it goes out in one direction. If we have opposite rays, these would just be two rays that are going in an opposite direction. And uh, if you notice, these are going to form a straight line, and a straight line always has 180 uh, degrees. Another thing we have is a linear pair. You might recognize linear. These are also going to be dealing with a straight line. A linear pair is basically just two angles that form a straight line. So we've got uh, this angle here, and that would be a linear pair with this angle here. And since we have this straight line, it's still going to add up to equal 180 degrees. Adjacent angles refer to uh, two angles that are adjacent to one another or joined next to one another. And if you know what adjacent means, uh, it's exactly it's exa exactly what it suggests. So these two angles here would be adjacent, and adjacent angles always share one side. For this example, it would be this side right here. Okay, think back to when we talked about uh, congruent line segments. Remember, if you had two line segments and they both had the same number of hash marks, we could say that those segments were congruent. Well, we can talk about angles in the same way. Let's say we had uh, two angles here. Let's say we had angle A, B, C. Let's say we had another angle here, and this angle is X, Y, Z. Now, instead of hash marks, we're going to have little arches. So if angle ABC has one arch here and angle XYZ has another arch here, we know that the measurement that the amount of degrees that each of these angles has is the same. Uh, so we're going to write that uh, angle ABC is congruent to angle XYZ. Z. Hold on, we're almost to the end. A couple more things. Uh, angle bisector. Uh, you think of bisector, you might think of bi two. Uh, angle bisector is cutting an angle into two equal pieces. So let's say we had angle W, Y, Z with angle bisector Y, R. Remember this a uh, single arrowed line above it represents a ray that's talking about this angle here YR since it's a bisector of angle WYZ we know it's cutting that exactly in half so we know that uh, the two angles that makes it up now we have angle WYR I'm gonna put a little arc here we know that's gonna have the same measure that's gonna be congruent to R, Y, Z, because it cut the big angle right in half. So we could draw those with the same number of arches. And if we wanted to, we can say uh, angle W, Y, Z is congruent to angle, oh, sorry, not W, Y, Z. We could say angle W, Y, R is congruent to angle R, Y, Z, angle bisector, cutting the angle in half, making two uh, adjacent angles, two angles that are congruent, that have the same measure. Last one, vertical angles. Vertical angles are when we have two lines that are intersecting one another. So if we have two lines, we have uh, their intersection right here in the middle. Uh, these are known as vertical angles, and vertical angles are going to be talking about the angles that are across from each other. So we've got these two vertical angles, and we've got another pair of vertical angles horizontally, directly across from each other. And 
What we know about vertical angles are that they are congruent. So this angle on top here is going to be congruent. It's going to have the same measure as this angle on the bottom. Uh, this angle to the left, I'm going to put two arcs now. I have to put two arcs because I have to distinguish it from these other angles. It's not equal to these angles, so I can't have one arc. So I'm going to put two, and I know that's going to be congruent to the angle straight across from it, so I also need to put two arcs on uh, this side. So I know vertical angles, angles across, they're going to have the same measure, they're going to be congruent, and uh, the angles across from each other horizontally, same thing for them. Perpendicular lines uh, are two lines that intersect and they form a right angle or a 90 degree angle. Whenever you see a box like this, not an arch, but a box, uh, you know it's referring to a right angle or 90 degrees. If we had these two lines, let's say we had AB and C. D, we could say that line A, B, pay attention to this symbol here, is perpendicular, and it's kind of easy to remember because it's kind of like you form a little box right there, so is perpendicular to, oh, but that box is not part of the symbol, so let's get rid of that, uh, line A, B is perpendicular to line CD. Last thing, interior and exterior. The interior of an angle is just exactly what it sounds like. The inside of the angle. So all this is the interior of angle XYZ. So we can say that point P is on the interior of angle XYZ. Exterior would be on the outside. We can say that uh, all this here is on the exterior of the angle and uh, point R is on the exterior of angle X, Y, and Z.